Hey guys, welcome to the Floaty Lady channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use 3D models in Procreate to plan and place a tattoo. Here are some Pokemon that I plan on turning into a sleeve. So I have them right here on a regular Procreate screen size format sheet of paper. And I'm going to open up one of my 3D models. Let's go with the arm. So here we have a left-sided arm, and this is appropriate for my client because he does want the tattoo on the left and I want it to flow well with his body. So I'm definitely gonna plan it on a left-sided arm in 3D. Okay, so we have our layers here. We have the base layer, a layer I've created, and the 3D model itself. So the base layer is white right now. You can fill the layer with any color you desire. Brown, because I've chosen brown up here on the right. I can change it to purple. All you have to do is tap it and go fill layer once you've chosen your the color that you want. There you go. really any color you want. So this be a darker skin tone here. So I'm gonna just put my design over top of that and see if I can get it to look right. Let's go to layer one. Now I should mention from this point, you can change over to pencil and draw directly on the surface of the 3D model while still in the 3D mode. Notice how when I went over the edge, it did break off right here. So you can only draw on one side at a time. Go up to the wrench, press the 3D and show 2D texture right there. Now you'll see where the base layer is. It's kind of goofy actually, it looks funny. There's hands, this is the circle, those are the hands and the big panels are the arms. So let's go back and take a look at it again. So there is the arm panel, you have the hands and that's the inside. Okay, so there's your base layer. If you have your base layer white, you're not going to see these things. So that's something to make a note of. It does help you figure out where your base layer is and might help you place things as well. So now that I'm in this 2D mode from the 3D, I can draw either on the base layer or a layer on top. So if I draw like that, it's going to go all over. If I draw on the base layer, it's also going to go all over. So it really doesn't matter. You might as well keep your base layer clean, make another layer on top of it so that you can erase it if you need to. Or you can draw on our base layer like this. We go back to 3D mode and turn off 2D texture. And now we have the word floaty wrapping around the whole arm. If you notice here, floaty does appear to be written backwards. So you might have to mirror image what you're doing to get what you want. Let's go back to 2D mode. I really want to show you why this is cool. Let's see if we can wrap all the way around the arm here. So now it's going all the way around the arm. The seam isn't perfect, but it is joining there on the inside of the arm. So if you're doing an inner arm piece, this could be a little trickier just because that's where the seam is, but it's great here for the outer arm and you can turn it and you see that the lines have drawn all the way across versus when I kept it in the 3D mode and I drew on the surface, it would not go to the back side. So that is much better already just planning in the 2D mode here. 
Okay, so now let's say we have created a design in another file, like my Pokemon piece. Let's see if we can insert that on the 2D mode. So here you have the white background. There is a way you can get rid of that. If you go up to the properties here of the layer, you'll see there's different options. Most of them from the top to the middle seem to blend well. I usually use multiply. And now you have the image and you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. We've placed the image on the 2D mode. We're going to go back to the 3D button option and turn off the texture. And there you go. You have the tattoo wrapping around. Make it bigger so you can see. You have the design wrapping around the arm now. You'll have to fiddle with it to get it where you want. Um, going back and forth from the 2D mode to 3D mode. But that's how you do that and it seems to work great works well on this darker palette skin. It would work well on a lighter palette too. So it might take you a little while fiddling with it, trying to get it where you want to create that nice balance for a sleeve. Let me show you one that I've actually worked on for a little while. And I'm happy with the placement of. Still fiddling with it a little bit, but it's looking pretty good. And over here, I can change the base layer to match my client's skin. Mm, maybe I just can do that. Yeah, that works. However you need to do it. Now that you can see I have the base layer on, you can tell that my placement of this guy here is a little bit off of it. And that's why you're getting that cut off part. So potentially I could chop that, maybe put it over here, and then it would be one continuous piece. I can mess with that later, but as you can see with just drawing a line even, uh, that it is a little tricky matching up to the other side. So a little bit of a seam there. That's a little bit of a flaw, I guess, because there is a seam, but you know, it's a great way to plan out a piece on an arm like this in three dimensions, take it into 2D. Now that I have this 2D, I can actually print it. I can do a lot of different things with the 2D design finished. Realistically, this is more for planning. You're gonna wanna print each Pokemon and place it on the arm, but this is a wonderful way to plan it. Really helpful. Again, up here where the wing is, you'll see when I go to the 3D mode, that part is chopped off because it's outside of that base layer. So again, when you wanna change that base layer, just go uh, from the 3D mode, it actually works better just to fill the layer with whatever color you want. It does work better from the 3D. When you fill the layer in the 2D mode, it does tend to fill the entire layer, as you can see. So you'd want to fill the layer in the 3D mode when changing the base layer color. It does look pretty great so far. I am gonna add a bunch of color to it. This is really just to get an idea of placement. I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. I've got uh, Gengar back here on the elbow where the client wants his tongue to actually protrude when he bends his elbow. Very specific, but I love it. This definitely gives me an idea of if I can do it, how it's all balanced. Really like composition is the most important thing when you're creating a tattoo to make it flow with the body as well. So this 3D model is a great way to do that. I recommend getting Procreate, getting the 3D models. If you wanna figure out how to get these 3D models into Procreate, check out this link here or check out a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye.